Alaskan Malamutes and Guarding Behavior, Nurturing a Protective Instinct Alaskan Malamutes are known for their unique characteristics and natural guarding behavior. These majestic dogs have a long history as working dogs in the Arctic, where they were bred to pull sleds and assist in hunting. Their strong instincts and protective nature make them excellent guardians. When it comes to nurturing their guarding behavior, it is important to approach it in a positive and responsible way. It is essential to understand the breed's traits and temperament, as well as provide them with proper socialization and training from an early age. By doing so, we can ensure that their guarding instincts are well-balanced and reliable. Understanding Alaskan Malamutes Alaskan Malamutes are a fascinating breed with a rich history and unique temperament that naturally lends itself to guarding behavior. Originating from the Arctic regions, these majestic dogs were originally bred to assist in sled pulling and hauling heavy loads. Their strength, endurance, and loyalty made them indispensable companions for the indigenous peoples of Alaska. With a history deeply rooted in the harsh conditions of the Arctic, Alaskan Malamutes have developed traits that make them exceptional guardians. They possess a strong sense of loyalty and protectiveness towards their family, which is a result of their close bond with their human counterparts. One of the defining characteristics of Alaskan Malamutes is their independent nature. While they are highly intelligent and trainable, they also have a streak of stubbornness that can make training a challenge. This independent streak, combined with their natural guarding instincts, makes them an excellent choice for those seeking a dog that can protect their home and loved ones. Alaskan Malamutes have a keen sense of awareness and are naturally alert, making them excellent watchdogs. They are known to be vocal and will not hesitate to alert their owners to any potential threats or intruders. This natural instinct to guard and protect, combined with their imposing size and strength, makes them an intimidating presence to anyone who might pose a threat. However, it is important to note that while Alaskan Malamutes have a natural inclination towards guarding, responsible ownership and proper training are crucial to ensure their behavior remains well-balanced and reliable. With the right approach, these magnificent dogs can be nurtured to become loving family members and trustworthy protectors. Early Socialization and Training Early socialization and training are crucial in shaping a Malamute's guarding behavior and ensuring it is well-balanced and reliable. As a responsible owner, it is your responsibility to expose your Malamute to various environments, people, and animals from a young age. This early exposure helps them develop positive associations and learn appropriate behaviors in different situations. By introducing them to different stimuli, such as different sounds, sights, and smells, you can help them become more confident and comfortable in their surroundings. One effective way to socialize your Malamute is through puppy classes or obedience training. These classes provide a structured environment where your Malamute can learn basic commands, interact with other dogs, and receive guidance from professional trainers. It is essential to choose a reputable trainer who understands the unique needs of the breed. During the socialization process, it is important to expose your Malamute to a variety of people, including children, adults, and strangers. This helps them learn to differentiate between familiar faces and potential threats. Encourage positive interactions by rewarding your Malamute with treats and praise when they display calm and friendly behavior. In addition to socialization, training plays a vital role in shaping your Malamute's guarding behavior. Positive reinforcement techniques are highly effective in teaching your Malamute to exhibit desired guarding behaviors. Rewarding them with treats, praise, and playtime when they display appropriate guarding behaviors helps reinforce these behaviors. It is important to remember that training should be consistent, patient, and based on positive reinforcement. Harsh punishment or negative reinforcement techniques can lead to fear, anxiety, and aggression in your Malamute. By using positive reinforcement, you can build a strong bond of trust and understanding with your Malamute, which is essential for fostering their guarding instincts in a positive and responsible way. Positive reinforcement techniques. Positive reinforcement techniques are a highly effective and humane way to encourage and reinforce desired guarding behaviors in Malamutes. By using positive reinforcement, you can create a strong bond with your dog and shape their behavior in a positive and rewarding manner. 
One of the most common positive reinforcement techniques is the use of treats. When your Malamute displays a desired guarding behavior, such as alerting you to a potential threat, immediately reward them with a treat and praise. This will reinforce the behavior and encourage them to continue guarding in the future. Another effective technique is clicker training. This involves using a clicker to mark the desired behavior and then immediately rewarding your Malamute. The clicker serves as a signal that tells your dog they have done something right and the reward reinforces the behavior. Consistency is key when using positive reinforcement techniques. Make sure to reward your Malamute every time they display the desired guarding behavior and be patient as it may take time for them to fully understand what you are asking of them. With consistent training and positive reinforcement, your Malamute will learn to associate guarding behaviors with positive outcomes and will be more likely to exhibit them in the future. It is important to note that positive reinforcement should always be used in conjunction with proper training and socialization. It is not enough to simply reward your Malamute for guarding behaviors, they must also understand basic commands and be well socialized with people and other animals. This will ensure that their guarding instincts are channeled appropriately and that they can distinguish between real threats and everyday situations. In conclusion, positive reinforcement techniques are a valuable tool in nurturing a Malamute's guarding instinct. By using treats, clicker training, and consistent rewards, you can encourage and reinforce desired guarding behaviors in a positive and responsible way. Remember to always combine positive reinforcement with proper training and socialization to ensure a well-balanced and reliable guardian. Teaching Basic Commands Leave it and drop it to help channel a Malamute's guarding instincts appropriately. Teaching basic commands to your Alaskan Malamute is crucial in shaping their guarding behavior and ensuring it is channeled in a positive and responsible way. Two important commands that play a significant role in managing their instincts are leave it and drop it. These commands help redirect their focus and prevent them from becoming overly possessive or aggressive. When teaching the leave it command, start by holding a treat in your closed hand. Allow your Malamute to sniff and investigate, but as soon as they show interest, close your hand and say leave it firmly. Wait for them to lose interest and then reward them with a different treat. Repeat this exercise several times until they understand that leave it means to ignore the object or food. The drop it command is essential for preventing resource guarding behavior. Begin by offering your Malamute a toy or object they enjoy. Once they have it in their mouth, show them a tasty treat and say drop it while gently holding the treat close to their nose. Most Malamutes will naturally release the object to get the treat. As soon as they drop it, Reward them with the treat and lots of praise. Practice this command regularly to reinforce their understanding. Consistency is key when teaching basic commands to your Malamute. Use positive reinforcement techniques, such as treats, praise, and play, to motivate and reward them for their obedience. Remember to keep training sessions short and engaging to maintain their focus and enthusiasm. By teaching basic commands like leave it and drop it, you can effectively guide your Malamute's guarding instincts and ensure they are used appropriately in various situations. Leave it. The command leave it is an essential tool for channeling a Malamute's guarding instincts appropriately. This command teaches your dog to let go of objects or refrain from engaging with something that may be potentially dangerous or unwanted. It is crucial to train your Malamute to understand and respond to this command effectively to ensure their safety and the safety of others. When teaching the leave it command, it is important to use positive reinforcement techniques. Start by presenting your dog with an object of interest, such as a toy or treat, and firmly say leave it. As soon as your Malamute redirects their attention away from the object, reward them with praise and a treat. Repeat this exercise several times, gradually increasing the difficulty by using more tempting objects or distractions. Consistency is key when training the leave it command. Reinforce the behavior every time your Malamute successfully responds to the command and avoid punishing or scolding them if they fail to comply. Remember, training should always be a positive and enjoyable experience for both you and your dog. In addition to objects, 
The leave it command can also be used to redirect your Malamute's attention from other animals or people. This is particularly important for managing their guarding behavior in public settings. By teaching your dog to leave things alone when instructed, you can ensure that their protective instincts are channeled in a responsible and controlled manner. Overall, the leave it command is an essential tool for managing a Malamute's guarding behavior. Through positive reinforcement training and consistent practice, you can foster a strong understanding of this command and help your dog become a well-balanced and reliable guardian. And Alaskan Malamutes and Guarding Behavior, Nurturing a Protective Instinct Exploring the unique characteristics of Alaskan Malamutes and how to foster their natural guarding behavior in a positive and responsible way. Understanding Alaskan Malamutes an overview of the breed's history, temperament, and traits that make them natural guardians. Early socialization and training. The importance of early socialization and training to shape a Malamute's guarding behavior and ensure it is well-balanced and reliable. Positive reinforcement techniques. Exploring positive reinforcement training methods that can be used to encourage and reinforce desired guarding behaviors in Malamutes. Teaching basic commands. The significance of teaching basic commands, such as leave it and drop it, to help channel a Malamute's guarding instincts appropriately. Building trust and bonding. Establishing a strong bond and trust with your Malamute to ensure they understand their role as a guardian and feel secure in their protective instincts. Managing guarding behavior. Tips on how to manage and control a Malamute's guarding behavior to prevent it from becoming excessive or problematic. Responsible Ownership and Public Safety Highlighting the importance of responsible ownership and ensuring that a Malamute's guarding behavior does not pose a threat to public safety. Socializing with people and other animals Guidelines for socializing a Malamute with people and other animals to prevent aggression and promote a well-rounded temperament. Seeking Professional Guidance when and why it may be necessary to seek the assistance of a professional dog trainer or behaviorist to address and manage a Malamute's guarding behavior. Drop it. When it comes to nurturing a protective instinct in Alaskan Malamutes, teaching them the command drop it is of utmost importance. This command is not only crucial for their safety, but also for the safety of those around them. By mastering the drop it command, you can ensure that your Malamute will release any item they have in their mouth, whether it's a toy, a bone, or something potentially harmful. Training your Malamute to drop it involves a combination of positive reinforcement techniques and consistency. One effective method is to offer a high-value treat or toy as a reward when they let go of the item upon command. This encourages them to associate the action of dropping with something positive and rewarding. Additionally, using a verbal cue such as drop it or a hand signal can help reinforce the command. Consistency is key, so make sure to use the same cue every time you want your Malamute to release an item. It's important to note that patience and repetition are essential during the training process. It may take some time for your Malamute to fully grasp the concept of drop it, so be prepared to reinforce the command consistently until it becomes second nature to them. By teaching your Malamute the drop it command, you are not only fostering their protective instincts, but also ensuring their safety and the safety of those around them. Remember to always use positive reinforcement techniques, be consistent, and practice patience during the training process to help channel a Malamute's guarding instincts appropriately. To help channel a Malamute's guarding instincts appropriately, it is crucial to teach them basic commands that establish clear boundaries and guidelines. By doing so, you can ensure that their protective instincts are directed towards the right situations and behaviors. One important command to teach your Malamute is leave it. This command teaches them to refrain from engaging with or pursuing something that may trigger their guarding instincts unnecessarily. Whether it's a tempting object or a potential threat, teaching your Malamute to leave it can help them exercise self-control and make better decisions in guarding situations. Another essential command is drop it. This command is particularly useful in situations where your Malamute has picked up an item they shouldn't have, such as a dangerous object or something they may become possessive over. By teaching them to drop it, you can ensure their guarding instincts don't escalate into possessive or aggressive behaviors. 
Consistency and positive reinforcement are key when training these commands. Use rewards, such as treats or praise, to reinforce the desired behavior and make the learning process enjoyable for your Malamute. Remember to be patient and practice these commands regularly to strengthen their understanding and response. Building trust and bonding. Building trust and bonding with your Alaskan Malamute is crucial to fostering their natural guarding instincts in a positive and responsible way. By establishing a strong bond, you can ensure that your Malamute understands their role as a guardian and feels secure in their protective instincts. One effective way to build trust with your Malamute is through consistent and positive reinforcement. Rewarding desired behaviors, such as alertness and attentiveness, can help reinforce their natural guarding instincts. Use treats, praise, and affection to let your Malamute know when they are behaving appropriately. In addition to reinforcement, spending quality time with your Malamute is essential for building trust. Engage in activities that they enjoy, such as daily walks or playtime. This will not only strengthen your bond, but also provide an outlet for their energy, reducing the likelihood of excessive guarding behavior. Another important aspect of building trust is ensuring that your Malamute feels safe and secure in their environment. Create a designated space for them where they can retreat and relax. This can be a crate or a comfortable corner of a room. Providing them with a sense of security will help them feel confident in their role as a guardian. Consistency is key when building trust and bonding with your Malamute. Stick to a routine and establish clear boundaries. This will help them understand their role and what is expected of them. Avoiding any form of punishment or harsh training methods is crucial as it can damage the trust you have built with your Malamute. Remember, building trust and bonding with your Malamute takes time and patience. By nurturing their protective instincts in a positive way, you can develop a strong and reliable guardian who understands their role and is dedicated to keeping their loved ones safe. Managing Guarding Behavior Managing a Malamute's guarding behavior is crucial to ensure it remains balanced and does not become excessive or problematic. Here are some tips to help you effectively manage and control your Malamute's guarding instincts. Consistent Training Provide consistent training sessions to reinforce obedience and reinforce positive behaviors. Use positive reinforcement techniques such as treats and praise to reward your Malamute for appropriate guarding behaviors. Establish boundaries. Clearly define boundaries and rules for your Malamute's guarding behavior. Teach them to differentiate between normal alertness and unnecessary aggression. Consistently enforce these boundaries to prevent any escalation of guarding behavior. Socialization. Continue socializing your Malamute with various people and animals to expose them to different situations and reduce the likelihood of aggression. Gradually expose them to new environments, people, and animals to build their confidence and trust. Supervision. Always supervise your Malamute's interactions with strangers or unfamiliar situations. This allows you to intervene if their guarding behavior becomes excessive or inappropriate. By closely monitoring their behavior, you can address any potential issues before they escalate. Redirecting attention. If you notice your Malamute becoming overly focused on guarding or displaying signs of aggression, redirect their attention to more positive activities. Engage them in play or provide mental stimulation to divert their focus and reinforce alternative behaviors. Professional guidance. If you are struggling to manage your Malamute's guarding behavior on your own, Consider seeking professional guidance from a dog trainer or behaviorist. They can provide expert advice and techniques tailored to your specific situation. Remember, managing a Malamute's guarding behavior requires patience, consistency, and a responsible approach. By implementing these tips, you can ensure that your Malamute's guarding instincts are channeled in a positive and controlled manner, creating a harmonious environment for both your dog and those around them. Responsible ownership and public safety. Responsible ownership is paramount when it comes to Alaskan Malamutes and their guarding behavior. While their protective instincts are a valuable trait, it is crucial to ensure that these behaviors do not pose a threat to public safety. By understanding and implementing responsible ownership practices, you can foster a well-balanced and reliable guardian in your Malamute. One of the key aspects of responsible ownership is socialization. 
Introducing your Malamute to various people and animals from a young age can help prevent aggression and promote a well-rounded temperament. By exposing them to different environments and experiences, you can help them develop the necessary social skills to interact safely with others. Additionally, it is important to establish clear boundaries and rules for your Malamute. Teaching them basic commands, such as leave it and drop it, can help channel their guarding instincts appropriately. By providing consistent training and positive reinforcement, you can ensure that your Malamute understands their role as a guardian without becoming overly protective or aggressive. Furthermore, responsible ownership involves managing and controlling your Malamute's guarding behavior. This can be achieved through proper supervision, secure fencing, and appropriate socialization. It is essential to prevent situations that may trigger excessive or problematic guarding behavior, such as territorial disputes or confrontations with unfamiliar individuals. In some cases, seeking professional guidance from a dog trainer or behaviorist may be necessary. These experts can provide specialized advice and techniques to address and manage your Malamute's guarding behavior effectively. They can help you understand the underlying reasons behind the behavior and develop a tailored training plan to address any issues that may arise. By prioritizing responsible ownership and public safety, you can ensure that your Alaskan Malamute's guarding behavior remains a positive and beneficial trait. With proper training, socialization, and supervision, your Malamute can be a well-behaved guardian while still being a safe and friendly member of society. Socializing with people and other animals Socializing a Malamute with people and other animals is crucial to prevent aggression and promote a well-rounded temperament. Here are some guidelines to follow. Start early. Begin socializing your Malamute as soon as possible, ideally during their puppyhood. This is when they are most receptive to new experiences and can develop positive associations. Exposed to different environments, introduce your Malamute to various environments, such as parks, busy streets, and pet-friendly establishments. This helps them become comfortable and adaptable in different situations. Positive interactions. Encourage positive interactions with people and animals by providing treats, praise, and rewards when your Malamute displays friendly behavior. This reinforces their social skills and encourages them to seek positive interactions. Supervised introductions. When introducing your Malamute to new people or animals, always do so in a controlled and supervised manner. This allows you to intervene if any negative behavior arises and ensures the safety of all parties involved. Gradual exposure. Gradually expose your Malamute to different types of people and animals. Start with calm and friendly individuals and gradually progress to more challenging situations. This helps them build confidence and reduces the risk of fear or aggression. Training classes, enrolling your Malamute in obedience or socialization classes can be beneficial. These classes provide structured environments for your Malamute to interact with other dogs and learn proper social skills under the guidance of a professional trainer. Consistency and patience. Socializing a Malamute takes time and patience. Be consistent in your approach and expose them to positive experiences regularly. Understand that each dog is unique and some may require more time and effort to become comfortable with new situations. By following these guidelines, you can help your Malamute develop good social skills, prevent aggression, and promote a well-rounded temperament. Remember, socialization is an ongoing process throughout your Malamute's life, so continue to provide positive experiences and reinforce their positive behavior. Seeking professional guidance. Seeking professional guidance is crucial when it comes to addressing and managing a Malamute's guarding behavior. While it is possible to train and socialize your Malamute on your own, there are certain situations where the expertise of a professional dog trainer or behaviorist may be necessary. One such situation is if your Malamute's guarding behavior becomes excessive or problematic. A professional can help assess the root cause of the behavior and develop a tailored training plan to address it. They have the knowledge and experience to identify any underlying issues that may be contributing to the guarding behavior, such as fear or anxiety, and can provide guidance on how to manage and modify the behavior effectively. 
Additionally, seeking professional guidance is essential if you are unsure about the best approach to training your Malamute or if you are experiencing difficulties in the process. A professional can provide you with the tools and techniques needed to effectively communicate with your dog and establish a balanced and respectful relationship. It is important to choose a reputable and experienced professional who specializes in working with large and protective breeds like Malamutes. They will have a deep understanding of the breed's unique traits and needs and can offer valuable insights and guidance specific to your Malamute's guarding behavior. Remember, seeking professional guidance is not a sign of failure or incompetence as a dog owner. It is a responsible and proactive step towards ensuring the well-being of your Malamute and addressing any behavioral issues in a safe and effective manner.